God, you know the song is long when the background footage I have to start off these streams with uh, <laughs> ends <laughs> before the song does. <laughs> Uh, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, happy black background for the first time in forever. Um, it, I, I don't really know what to say today. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I forgot to start the game, though. I forgot to even set up the game so that I was ready to start it as soon as the song ended. Alright, there we go. We're back in Rarids Online, because why not? Um, uh, we have served the smelter. We have ourselves a little bit of, um, of raw iron and rails and whatnot. <clears throat> I guess I could probably do more cordwood hauls if I really, really wanted to, but uh, I kind of want to get around to the coal, the gold mines, the gold mines. And I can't do that if we don't have coal, because what is it? Hold on, where's extend? Railroads online extended, cheats, naval flying. <laughs> we kind of need coal to, to get this whole industry chain going. Just a little bit. That's what we're going to be doing today. Just coming over here to make sure that it, like, what else we need to get. Uh, beams is easy, tools are easy, rails and coal. So we already have rails, we already have beams, we already have, well, we don't have coal, we don't have tools. But we kind of need coal to get tools. Let's pop on over to the coal mine, figure out how to make a downhill grade. Because <laughs> this terrain is, is going to be interesting to have to build on. Like, it doesn't look too terrible, kinda, but at the same time, I, uh... <laughs> I'm not excited about handling this hill for figuring out the pathfinding downwards. Is the dredge an easier source for ore? I forgot. Um, I don't actually know. Let's check it out. <laughs> I, I don't really remember much of the update because I haven't really played it too much. I think it is, but I also think it produces less. Oh, nope, it is, um... Well, I guess it is a little easier, isn't it? Because you only have to deliver steel pipes and tools and coal. While with the, the regular mine, you have to deliver rails, beams, tools, and coal. And that's four different destinations, while this one only needs from two. I guess it's a little bit... It's also easier just because it's so far down and, and very simple to get to. <laughs> ah, hello, Gordon! Oh, you know what could be cool? is if we actually had it 
follow the wall here, like follow the edge of the cliffs as it descends. Speaking of updates, apparently in the next, they're proper, probably, or proper, eh, words, properly is what I assume you meant, uh, adding knuckles and a 10 wheeler. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen. Ten wheeler looks nice. I'm kind of excited for that. <laughs> In part because I know people will stop asking for new wheel, or at least will tone down asking for new wheel arrangements and be happy with it. But it's also just a nice looking engine. Geographically speaking, the mine is a very yeah. The mine is a uh, kind of difficult. But that's kind of the fun of it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I have an idea for how to handle this coal mine that can be actually kind of cool and fun. <laughs> so one of the things about the Steel Pegasus rule set is that it does not actually ban you from creating loops. There is nothing in the rules that forbids you from creating reversing loops. I don't really want to use them often because they can get kind of boring, and we already have one on the line, and I, I don't want to stretch my luck. But I also feel like this industry, the coal mine, is probably one of the most important industries on the railroad. Like, all things considered, there is a, a lot of places right now that need coal, because you've got what? The dredge, the gold mine, the stamp mill, uh, the meat placking plant the gold smelter and where was it the um ironworks at six different locations that you need to bring a uh, coal to <laughs> and so i figure you know we can probably fit in a reversing loop here but i also think it would be kind of boring just to have a reversing loop at the industry and nothing else <laughs> but what if in order to challenge myself I have to build the reversing loop over this pass. It had like the reversing loop will send you up the hill, down, around, and back down this way. That's how we make the reversing loop. <laughs> Just to add a little extra challenge to the run, a little extra spice, and and force me to go to a different portion of the map than um, most people will visit. Ten wheeler is gonna screw up my roster and force me to rearrange it, but I'm looking forward to it. Also hoping beyond hope that there's a black paint scheme so BTTF shenanigans can occur. There'll probably be a, um I expect there'll be a black paint job because it's like the the class seventy, right? Like at, at least the current paint job we have is like the class seventy. You'll be fine. Hey, oh Cory, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I will add a little bit of trackage to the area just to make it look a little more alive, even though realistically we're only ever going to use a reversing loop if I do actually do this plan. But. Just finished connecting the entire north half of the map with a single main line. The rundown from the gold mine absolutely sucked. I cannot wait to do that. It's gonna be so much fun! And, and by fun, I mean pain. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I've moved the gold mine. It's not in the same location as it is in the default map, so it's a little less painful. But... 
the oil refinery is up there now. And that's probably worse. Of course I was late. Hey, we've only been live for 15 minutes. I wouldn't really call that late. Okay, why? Why is it doing this weird little S bend? No, stab it. Get some help. There we go, that's much better. Can I spice this up? One rule for my map is that I can't go above a 4% grade, 30 meter curves all the way down. <laughs> the descent from hell. Four percent is pretty steep though. I, I restrict myself to three percent, no steeper. Gary's Mod Railroad, I did an Omega Hall, the Turbine, and the 2664 did a doubleheader with 217 car diamond train, Jesus. And Amethyst train, and it was torture trying to get up the rail. Six percent great. <laughs> Bruh. Pulling a Uinta there. That's, um. It's, uh. Not very fun sounding. To say the least. left the switch like this. It'd also be really stupid, but... <laughs> Just have the two switches overlapping and looking terrible. Snare gauge trains can usually go up steeper hills than standard gauge trains. They can? I mean, I guess they have lighter weights or whatever. You think broad gauge, broad gauge trains are worse for grades? Probably, because they probably have worse weight. I'd expect so, yeah. Hello, Andrew. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I, uh, I might have just come up with something very stupid, everybody. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> One of my worst ideas. <laughs>
All right, let's think. Um, should I go for a 45 or should I go for a 90? 45 would look funnier. <laughs> What's up, guys? You know what else is cool? Ancient Egypt. So today on my mukbang, I'm going to Victoria... <laughs> Victoriana and eating the mummified corpse of King Tutankhamun that I stole from the British Museum. <laughs> Not clickbait. Gone wrong. Not the worst I've seen. Had my friend build a yard on my railroads and line world, and he didn't notice that one of the switch stands was in the middle of the next track over. Found it by running into it at 29 miles per hour. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, the classic railroads and line experience. <laughs> Probably have already talked about this, but what do you think about the new update news? Uh, I haven't really talked about it too much, but also that's because I haven't really looked into it too much. Um, Knuckles seem cool. And I know that, <laughs> I know that people are going to be happy with the 460. I like the 460, it looks cool, but people are just going to be happy about a different wheel arrangement, and hopefully that quells some of the complaints. <clears throat> I like the new engine, it looks pretty. Uh, I hope that, it, it's also like, apparently got a moderate tractive effort, rather than a, a very super strong one, like the ones they've been adding these last few updates. Pretty little engine. <laughs> Hopefully it can, it can go fast. <laughs> Watch it go like 40 miles an hour and people just destroy their entire railroads, <laughs> pushing it to the limits. The new UI is interesting. I like that new UI. It's, it, I still would prefer the old one, I think, but it is a vast improvement over the one we currently have. <laughs> like, this actual contrast between elements. You can tell what you're doing. Something exciting for me is that there's one more week until Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. I've never actually watched any any sort of Godzilla movies. Some of my friends are really invested in that stuff. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a movie night with them. <laughs> Hold on, I want to I want to take a peek at the new UI. So hard to read. Personally, I disagree with that. It's different to read, but it's not hard for me. <clears throat> I understand that change is always hard to to get used to and, and deal with. I think this is a fine change, personally. Link to the update, uh, it's just on the Steam page. I think somebody posted a link to it in the Discord the other day. I might be wrong, I don't remember. Um, I could be mistaken. I think it, the new UI is like it was made by someone that doesn't know Steam things. There's electric switches on it. That's funny. Really excited for the new 460. Oh, the roundhouse! Right, that's exciting news. I like that. That's big news. <laughs> 
That's something to get super hyped for in this update. 1,000%. <laughs> no longer will we have to build those really shoddy engine sheds on our own. Wonder if the new surveying equipment will help building track. It's a good question. I didn't really look into the surveying equipment much because honestly it looks <laughs> a little confusing based on what they've shown. But then again, they've only shown us like one picture. It's like most steampunk stuff. Yes, this is a steam power death laser. I assure you this is possible with 1900s technology. <laughs> What's the term I've heard? Steampunk is just magical mechanical, really. Uh, what button did I hit? I did not. Why was my mouse outside of the game? <laughs> kind of like how Star Wars is more like a fantasy story than it is a sci-fi one. Stick to the hill as best we can. Coming at this angle, we'll probably need to come out at a decent angle, but that's okay. <laughs> Biggest gripe with roads and line track building is you still can't make fills or cuts. Honestly, I kind of like it that way. It adds more of a challenge. <laughs> Makes it actually tricky to, to build your line. Oh god, this is definitely too sharp of a corner to have to deal with. <clears throat> it would look nice if we could actually make fills and cuts ourselves, but... From a gameplay perspective, I like the restrictions. I like the restraints. And that might be me talking from the perspective of I quit a game where they completely demolished the constraints and made it com extremely boring for longtime players because of that. And my frustrations and gripes with that are just speaking up here, but. I like constraints. Make for fun puzzles. Alright, that's way better. Probably a little too better. Oh, now that works. have to mop the kitchen right now. Small problem, I can't get any hot water in the mop bucket. What? Why? Huh? <laughs> Why not? Did some research in the new 460 should just have just under 12,000 pounds of tractive effort, according to his basis. From what somebody mentioned on, I, I think 
It was on my stream on Wednesday. Uh, the the one person who joined me, <laughs> um, they talked about that the just under twelve thousand pounds was from a rebuild, and if this isn't the rebuild, it's going to be a little bit uh, less powerful than that. It's going to be closer to about nine thousand pounds. God, there's going to be so many bridges on this route. <laughs> We're going to be here for a century. Laying out bridge after bridge after bridge. <laughs> None of our sink bays are big enough to fit it in, and the sprayer that we usually use isn't spraying hot water for some reason. Get a bucket. Fill it by hand. I upgraded the train I wanted to, and pocket trains, as well as some of my other ones. Problem is, to upgrade the trains, you need parts, and you get parts from crates, but what you get is random. Good thing you get them from playing and not from money. Thank God they're not loot boxes. I remember that though, where you had to actually like roll the dice to try and get new parts, new components. <laughs> this is a bucket. Dear God. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> no. Oh yes, for some reason that reminds me, speaking of dead people with major internet prominence, I saw a Billy Mays commercial on TV. <laughs> like unironically, they were playing a Billy Mays infomercial on TV for some product. <laughs> Like, bro, he's been dead for how long? <laughs> I know I mentioned this in the Discord, but I'm still just shocked about it. Don't disgrace the man. I understand that he probably gave his legal rights away, but also, like, he died in 2009. That, that advertisement is, at the very least, 15 years old. Why are you airing it on live TV? <laughs> But wait, there's more! <laughs> if you call right now to the number on your screen, we'll give you... <laughs> we'll give you fleas! Fun for the whole family, especially your dog! I had to explain to my father why I was so, so obsessed with the fact that Billy Mays was on TV. Seduce me, the spy said calmly. Jokes aside, yeah, that is a little disrespectful to the men. Yeah, and it's also just, like, why are they doing at least a 15-year-old ad? Bruh. <laughs> why? Who I, I guess they're probably just trying to tailor to the audience of people who still watch TV regularly, and uh, those are people who would remember those ads. Maybe be fond of their styling. I don't know. It, it just felt a little strange to me. Oh, you know, how far up are we right now?
We're actually not that far right now, are we? Eh, we're a bit. We're a bit. This little intersection right here is gonna be really interesting. <laughs> I might, um... I might have to make a scissors Y. <laughs> Because we're gonna, if anything, we need to have a switch that allows us to go from the smelter up. Actually, do we need it though? We could just have one switch that cuts off from, like, say, right here, and it turns up and it climbs the hill. And yeah, sure, we have some stuff down here. Oh, well, we have the dredge, and we have the meat packing plant. Those need coal. Maybe, maybe we do need to have it so this route has two connections. We could have it so that the line splits off going up this way, but this is a very slight grade, if memory serves me right. And this would just, if we adjusted that, it would make it steeper, and that would be a headache to deal with. But we would also be able to use the, the turnaround, which would be kind of convenient. Hmm. We'll figure, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Got the hot water to work and accidentally turned the mop bucket into a steam generator while I was at it. <laughs> Buy now the really shoddy mop that we put in a bucket. <laughs> you can use it as your locomotive on your live steam railways. I dare you. <laughs> Bonk. Step one for making a makeshift boiler <laughs> explosion. <laughs> Any tips for track laying on Aurora Valley? The only edit I made on my map is putting another logging camp closer to Freight Depot for easy wood refueling, but I don't really know where to go from there. <laughs> best tip I can give is uh, use steep grades. <laughs> Get yourself some 3% or greater. That's what I'm doing. Don't be afraid to, to push the boundaries of, of your engines and maybe run slightly shorter trains. I mean, this is what I always, I always preach about people doing, but it's especially true on Aurora Valley. Just check the Rarity Discord. They updated the map a bit, and from what the video I saw, they're adding a later 4.4.0. I know that there's been a mod floating around that adds in a 4.4.0 to the game. Sort of an older 4.4.0, though. It's like a 10,000 pounds of tractive effort or something like that. Not the strongest engine. Hey, Eon, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to, uh, struggling to figure out how to make intersections. <laughs> .mp4. <laughs> Aurora Valley is very deceptive. It looks pretty flat, but it really does need some 3 plus grades. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of, I think we're going to have to start flattening out. 
And also, we might have to make it so the alternate route to the coal mine has a much steeper grade. Which shouldn't really be too much of a problem. Because I think we're going to be mostly hauling empty coal cars up that hill. Of course, that's assuming that we ever haul anything up the hill. But... Video of the devs. Oh, if the, the, if the devs made it, then never mind. It's it's not something about the mod. That's cool. I know people have been asking for a four four zero for quite some time. One of the people in my school thinks he has a privilege. He calls the teachers bro or dude, and he swears like a sailor, it's like it's not completely frowned upon. Even, even says the next Tuesday word. I don't know what the next Tuesday word is. I think a neat thing for railroads online would be to uh, be able to upgrade the logging camp to various mines and other industries. That would be cool. <laughs> Better productivity the more you deliver to this place the of a certain cargo type. It'll upgrade and eventually you just you get to factorial levels of efficiency. Finally figured out a good-looking T intersection, which I might convert to a four-way. Or sorry, could totally convert. Just glad the update will finally have surveying equipment. I know, right? With the hills on Aurora, whatever place, Aurora Valley, <laughs> Aurora Falls, Aurora Falls. Um, those are going to be very welcome. <laughs> it's going to be very nice to have them. I guess I really didn't consider that one when we were making comments earlier about that and how I just sort of dismissed it and didn't say much. See you. Oh, that word. I see. I thought it was something worse. Not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> not to say that's that's good by any stretch of the imagination. But I, I thought it was something completely different. Finally, getting surveying tools like we can make tunnels and stuff. No, no. It's just, it's just tools to figure out what the ground level is like. Not a polite company kind of thing. Just say cuck instead. <laughs> it's equally as cursed, a little less offensive. <laughs> and and makes people laugh. Sometimes. Still struggle making long sections that look smooth. The auto spline works well, but it's got a poly limit, so it's still too long and chunky. Oh, don't worry, we have that problem over here, Eon. Um, on this curve, 
as it starts to come on in, you can you can start to see the polygons. You know, I'm gonna replace that right now. Screw it. We'll make this. Let's say 100 meter radius. Curve out as far as we physically can, and then we'll do an auto connect. <laughs> Is your friend Australian? Because that's basically their dude. God, now, I, now I'm just thinking of sentences that I don't think I can say on YouTube while still remaining monetized. So I think I'm going to do something a little bit stupid, but stupid is what we're here for, so it's fine. And I'm also going to do something a little bit fun. Then again, this entire coal mine route is going to be a mixture of stupid and fun, so um, who, who's really surprised? Alright, we're going to want to... I want to do a steel truss bridge, but I think that's irresponsible due to splines. I, I think I'm going to have to do 69 meters of wood bridge. 69 just because it's funny. Then we can have walls going up at 3%. You know those signs on the Sunset Highway that say Ocean Beach? Yeah, we use that term now instead of, oh, shit, or son of a bitch. That's, a, that, <laughs> that's actually really clever. I'm going to have to steal that from my vernacular. If there's any way to figure out how to stop swearing, uh, that's a good place to start. Would be stupider than the Betsy story that got derailed by a literal pebble? Wait, there was a... Is there a real-world Betsy that got derailed by a pebble? <laughs> or is this just something from Rose Online? Why would I stop swearing? It's fun. Uh, simple. YouTube monetization. <laughs> I like keeping my kneecaps and my money. <laughs> Besides, it can also be fun to try and brainstorm new ways to, uh, to evade swearing. Sometimes I pretend I'm Jason from The Good Place, yes, and say oh dip instead of swearing, mainly to throw people off their game. God, I need to finish The Good Place. It has been a while. We, we got into the middle of, I think, season two. Or, or I guess, season... I think we got into the... We started season three, maybe? I don't remember. <laughs> but... That was a fun show. One of the few shows that I've actually watched in the past couple of years. Time you did a triple header and it wasn't powerful enough and you had to per- Oh, yes! 
<laughs> and we had to purchase the two Betsy's to make it up the four <laughs> percent. Uh, God, I still have the footage from that stream. I I need to I need to edit it down. Though honestly, editing videos is, is a little hard sometimes when you have just two hours of footage and you're trying to cut it down into something watchable while also maintaining your sanity. Fair warning, season three gets a bit weird. So I have seen, I had to stop watching at one point, it was at the confrontation with the mother. That was, I had to put down my headphones and just stop watching because it got a little too stressful for me considering my own past experiences. Alright, hold on. 50 meters. Make shorts out of that stuff. What? <laughs> What I should do is make shorts out of some of the old LN30 stuff that I've made. Just videos of them running on a layout or something. Make mini updates showcasing... <laughs> well, not really mini updates, but just showing old engines running. And just like, hey, link to the original video where I painted this thing up. It's in the description. Go click it. So it starts hitting on some pretty close to home things. Yeah, that uh that one was a little too close to home. Oh hey, sometimes raw emotion is how you get the best writing out of something, you know? Bunk. Oh come on, is the is the fill too high up off the ground right now? No man. Okay, fine. We'll place it a little farther back. Here we can place a steel bridge. Maybe, maybe it's a little too small of a steel bridge, but I'll place it anyway. <laughs> Just cause I can. It's gonna be such a silly little route. Oh, I forgot to make sure that there's actually a grade on this bridge. Oops. Oh, speaking of the ON30 stuff, though, since that's fresh on my mind, uh, we got an engine complete last night. It's one that we've had, like, visually complete for months now. Uh, it's been ready to go. It's just that the electrical components were kind of completely botched. But uh, we got an engine complete. We now have Laminate Port Carini number 22 ready to run. We still need to clean her wheels before I record a video for her, but exciting news. On a less depressing note, did you hear about the Super Mario Bros. CD? It's a Mario- oh, not the, never mind. Uh, it's a Mario World ROM hack that's meant to mimic a fictional SNES CD add-on similar to the Sega CD. It's really cool stuff. I haven't heard about that, no. Most Mario World ROM hacks I, I know about are, like, <laughs> troll ROM hacks and major Kaizo ROM hacks. <laughs> 
Back to game talk. We were talking about industry upgrades. I would love to have the ability to upgrade industries from cordwood to coal eventually. So basically, you would love to have the, um... <laughs> literally just the smelter be able to use coal. What, when the player is ready to do that. <laughs> what are your thoughts on track cleaning? Um... Like, what do I use for track cleaning? We have ourselves one of those graphite sticks. That's one of the things we use. But we also have... Uh, we, <laughs> we use rail zip and a, a sock with holes in it. Because we're never going to wear that sock again. And so we, we put our hand up the sock like a sock puppet cover it and rails it, and then just run our fingers up and down the tracks. I mean, don't cover it, you know, but we put, like, a little bit in there. That's how we typically handle that stuff. Be careful with any Nintendo game hacks. They are not taking a soft hand with those. Yeah. For some reason, from what I've heard, it is... A lot of the time, they don't take down content that has hacks in them, but they do take down content that um, that shows other people how to do the hacks. Graphite stick. That's an idea. I use the tears of small children. Works well, but hard to collect. That's not that hard to collect. Just go down to an orphanage and start making really bad jokes. To, at the expense of the, the key. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why am I actually coming up with a plan on how to collect the tears of children? <laughs> Found out something recently. New York Central 5344 was supposed to be preserved. Alfred Perlman specifically wanted it set aside for preservation, but it was vandalized and got caught up anyway. Damn. The one time that he was willing to spare somebody from the, the chopping axe. But he got me this weird tank car with a sponge on it, and I'm like, what the F is this? We have some of those, actually. My father uses those. We, we usually use those, and, um... What's the other thing? Box cars? With stuff on the underside of them, like a little dongle? That's typically what we manage to, to do... Or I should say that's typically what he manages to do. I don't have those those pieces of rolling stock and they look out of place on an 0-30 layout, or in an N scale layout for that matter. <laughs> Who lives in a train layout under the house? Sponge, Bob, tank, car! <laughs> Absorbent and yellow and porous is not this thing. It's very much not absorbent. It's trying to put everything on the tracks. It's trying to excrete liquid. <laughs> it don't stay still long enough for me to get the bottle under their eyes. Try chaining them down, but then they just screamed a lot. <laughs> Oh, God. So you just use sedatives. Make it so they're awake enough. <laughs> Turn them into vegetables. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't know why, like, every couple of years, for some reason, orphans just get the short end of the stick when it comes down to jokes. 
and people just pull out all the stops relating to them. <laughs> it's just a reoccurring fact of life. And to anyone who is actually an orphan out there, I apologize. I still find this funny. I, I have not tried to do this at your expense. <laughs> Number boards and headlight were stolen, and when he visited it, he was furious. Said that if people were gonna disrespect it like that, just cut it up anyways. No. Just build a new one. Man, he really did not, um... He just had a, a personal vendetta against steam engines. What, did a steam engine kill his mom or something? <laughs> Was he an orphan because a steam train ran over his family? Hey, listen, Tony. You pick up the kid, you hold him at like a 45 degree angle, facing him down, and you give him a firm shake. <laughs> you'll get out all the tears, and you'll also get out all the, uh, the coins and change they got in their pockets. It's a robbery at the same time. Easy peasy, Tony. <laughs> Ironically, the headlight and number board was stolen by people who thought it was going to get scrapped and wanted to save part of it? Oh my god. That's funny. That's very ironic. And very sad. But funny. I just got back from seeing Migration. It was alright. Uh, that duck movie by, um... What's the studio? The ones that made the minions. Uh, Illumination? <laughs> Just got back from. Or, wait, no, sorry. We had some Tears of Alfred Perlman. You think we could somehow use witchcraft to, <laughs> to get a Niagara? <laughs> We'll, we'll have to go and, and decimate his corpse, learn necromancy, then get him to cry his heart out about how how he's, he's made rail fanning in the modern era terrible. Make him feel actual guilt by gaslighting him into the fact that diesels are actually terrible long term. Because he doesn't know if that's true or not. He died. Make him very sad. Make him realize all his mistakes, and uh, then we'll <laughs> we'll use that to resurrect a Niagara. Isn't the only remaining piece of a Hudson some sort of water tank tender that was a former Hudson tender or something like that? Yeah, I think so. I think it's literally just a, a random tender off of a Hudson. <laughs> Which, hey, I guess we got something. I, I wish it was way more, but we got something. Alright, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna change it to daytime again. I, I don't want to work in the darkness of night. I'm willing to run trains in the darkness of night and suffer, but building track? No. <laughs> ah, yes, I'd like to borrow a few orphans for the day. Sir, this is not a library. You cannot check them out. What are you talking about? Of course I can. You're not using them. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not using them. That is such a cursed statement that I feel like can be used on a whole bunch of different, um... Different entities to make some very questionable uh, situations. <laughs> You're not using them. And you know what? That's actually the most capitalist thing anybody could ever say. <laughs> Can I borrow your orphans? You don't seem to be using them right now. Maybe a husband can be the D1 Trust's next project. It could be. That could be fun. <laughs> Why is this what I joined to? Hello, Radium. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't question it. <laughs> The conversation has gone a little bit off the rails. <laughs> it sounds so sus out of context. Don't worry, it's sus in context too. It's <laughs> just don't ask questions. Just watch the stream and, and never question anything we ever say or do. Oh, I'm, my my head is spitting <laughs> from laughter. <laughs> I don't want to care if we tell cheese puns. Puns are eternal for these streams, Jay. Yeah, I said Char. So it doesn't matter whether or not you say no and you cheddar believe it. Everybody, get out the emote. Spam it. Spam this man. <laughs> get out the cheese emote. Throw it at him. <laughs> Hello, Australia. Yes, I would like to borrow some of your spiders for the day. You don't seem to be using them, and I happen to need Nami to invade the orphanage. <laughs> I love how I immediately broke character as soon as I read read that last part of the sentence. I was trying to do, like, that Joker thing. Like, hello, fat fetish artist! <laughs> oh, right, hold on. Uh, I... Need to make sure that the gradient is actually active here. Yeah, because we've got to clear this little mound. We will do so at forty meters. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that Joker video. You now remember it! Perish. <laughs> you shall recall the cursed things of the internet. Just do twenty two point two and then we'll go back to wall. Uh I forgot to make this on a hill, didn't I? Whoops. Three percent. Let's make it twenty seven point five instead.
Hello, T14. Welcome to the stream. Hello, tiny locomotive artists. I would like to order one locomotive drawing of the big boy. <laughs> You want to recall the cursed things on the internet? Just recall that one time you accidentally went on DeviantArt and found horrible things. Uh, which one time, TK? There's probably like 17 different instances that I can recount. <laughs> We're talking about a, a time I did this on stream? What is that voice, my good sir? Uh, it's the Joker voice. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> now we, we were doing a riff on the um, uh, on a certain video, and so I was trying to replicate the Joker voice. I don't know if I was doing a good job, though, honestly. The jokester, yes! Yes, the new persona, the jokester. <laughs> I love how this all started out with us talking about orphanages, and somehow we're here. Uh, <laughs> Time Matt Pat accidentally surged up furries. Just ran, rang throughout my brain cells. Did he do it on, like, a live stream or something? Because if so, that's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. Hit the mic. The fact that you immediately knew what I meant by DA tells me you've been on that site more times than is healthy for a sane human. I have a lot of artist friends, man. People who, who I know, friends and cohorts who have been around for quite some time. You, you get used to, to randomly hearing about the cursed things upon DeviantArt. Speaking of jokers, have you beaten Jevil? Yes, I've beaten both Jevil and Spamton. G. Spamped. I have not done a snow grave. I don't really care to. Uh, I need to play Undertale Yellow though. I, I've seen I've seen some stuff about that. I've got basically all the spoilers for it already, but it looks rather fun. Also, the animations are just so good. One thing I noticed on this map is the trees are less dense. I suspect it has the same number of trees as Pine Valley, but spread out over a much larger area. I bet it's because trees are a big cause of lag. That's probably why, yeah. I kind of like the, the lesser density, though, because it means that you can keep... Like, you can better see your trains running, you know? Rather than having to cut down all the trees around you constantly. Hello, Cable. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Depends on the type of dragon. Bad dragon! <laughs> I will show myself the door. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so this is where the hill crests. Pacific Crest. I th think I'm gonna be able to make the grade a little shallower as we start. We're gonna have a giant bridge here because I think that'll look kind of cool, kind of shiny and fancy. <laughs> Stars just going for all the cursed quotes today. <laughs> uh, every, every live stream, man. <laughs> I just become unhinged. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's glorious.
I'm curious, is Ordecai a scaly or a furry? Are you asking under the context of does Ordecai inherently count as a, a scaly character or a furry character? Or is Ordecai in universe, in mind, a scaly or a furry? Because that would be a funny thing to imagine. Take your original characters and design them. Give them furry designs. <laughs> Give them fursuits. <laughs> okay, it looks like I'm probably going to need to actually have this hill be slightly steeper. Uh, looks like, yeah, we're going to need 2% all the way. How the hell would Furry Thomas the Tank Engine work? Just Google that. You'll find answers. <laughs> Please do not share the answers with us. I don't want to know. <laughs> We've already seen train sonas. That, <laughs> that, that was cursed enough. Odd moments in my life, number one, 11,515. I have been asked if I was a furry on more than one occasion. Not sure what vibe I give off, but I didn't think it was that. No knocking if that's your thing. I mean, you, that one picture you have of yourself to show your height, Eon. Are you standing next to a photo of a bear? The furryisms are inevitable. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Yeah, but I'm not wearing a bear suit. Not yet. <laughs> uh, that would be really funny. I'd like, totally don't do this, but it'd be really funny if you got a picture back at that same place, except you're just wearing a bear costume. <laughs> You know, this bridge doesn't look quite as imposing as I was hoping it would. I mean, it's still imposing, don't get me wrong, and it's still going to be a cool view, but like, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there was that one time in college where I had a panda suit, but the best quote of that night was, I think the panda crawled upstairs and passed out. <laughs> One heck of a college party. All right, let's do thirty meters of flat. Downhill at 30 meters, 1%. Downhill way larger than 30 meters at 2%. Imagine wearing a fursuit while driving a steam locomotive. You just die of a heat stroke into the earlier 30 minutes. Uh, I still feel sorry for that one guy that I saw on a train once who was wearing a fursuit in the middle of very nasty summer heat. And they were boarding, they were boarding in Minneapolis wearing their fursuit. Dude, I hope that guy did, <laughs> was okay. 
<laughs> I hope he was fine. Just don't wear a yellow rabbit suit. I'm sure you'll know what happened. Hey man, considering all the orphanage talk today, somebody's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's gonna don the mask. <laughs> and they're gonna parry it. Oh god, hold on, hold on. I just remembered a very cursed image that I have. I don't remember what video it's from. I have to send it to my computer so that I can put it on stream. Okay, Discord, save the image, um, he dead, dot, PNG, pictures, wait, no, sorry, downloads, he dead, dot, JPEG, my bad. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going out of my way to do this, but I am. Uh, we want LaCringe. Oh yes, I forgot the last time we had something on stream. It was all four of the Volvic commercials and Mr. T Volcano and Tyrannosaurus Allen. Okay, where's it at? Where's it at? Um, Photos app. Uh. Wait. Why isn't it showing up? Hello? <laughs> One day back in 8th grade, I went to school in railroading attire, striped hat and overalls and all. There was no particular reason, I just thought it'd be funny, and I was on- it was uncomfortable as all hell. Is William Afton a furry? Clearly, yes. High school, I played Mick Gruff the crime dog as several at several public safety events. Had a fan in its nose, so it wasn't too hot. Okay, looking back, I see why someone may have asked if I was a furry. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I I have a better technique. I have a better solution to my problem. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll try this instead. There's your image of the day. It's a still frame from an animation. <laughs> if anyone needs a new profile picture, there you go. <laughs> All right, enough of that image. Bam. You know, maybe I should be designing this world for some mild multiplayer shenanigans. Because I... I have a sneaking suspicion somebody's gonna want the world download once I'm done playing this, and Cole is gonna be a major, important part of the round. So... 
probably a decent idea to do that now. Living corpse in an animatronic is a considered bestiality. No, where where did the conversation reach this point? <laughs> It'd be necro something else. I don't. Want. Oh god, good lord, cursed, terrible. <laughs> Halloween one year, I was in like third grade. I went to school as an Amtrak conductor, and everyone loved it. I even had an official hat from O.T. Sally off of the Crescent. Still have that hat. Nice. Well, you can play switches backwards. Yeah, you can play switches backwards. You have to hit um, whatever button you use for grades, and then it'll switch what position the you're you're attaching your switch from. Glad we're getting a 10 wheeler in the game, but I'm kind of disappointed it isn't a wood burner. It is kind of weird considering it, its power rating that it's not a wood burner, but like. I kind of like the coal burners better, personally. Same applies to crossing diamonds. Yes, exactly. Same applies to uh, crossing. So if you ever, for any reason, need to uh, to change your, the crossing placement, that's how you do it. We need smaller locomotives, in my opinion. Oh, okay, what are we, what are we gonna get that's smaller than Betsy? What locomotive is gonna have less tractive effort? <laughs> And a car. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Maintenance speeder. I am actually wondering what kind of what steam locomotives would be smaller than Betsy? Because I'm sure there were smaller, right? Like, oh man, we'll get a coffee pot. We don't need to lower the lowest bar, but more locomotives that aren't massive pull the world trains would be nice. Yeah, we're getting one this update. We're getting a one with around 9,000 pounds of tractive effort. The class 47. You ever see that bicycle with a third wheel so it could run on run the tracks? It's in a museum somewhere east coast wise. 
Uh, maybe? Perhaps? I don't know. Are we thinking of that one that was like a, a monorail? Or are we thinking, <laughs> thinking of something else? I don't, I don't know anything else. Oh goodness, are we really too high up off the ground? Get <laughs> the best friend of Charleston. Oh god, that reminds me of something terribly cursed that I was planning to do for a while. <laughs> I was... <sighs> One thing I was thinking of doing in O and thirty was making a four foot long steam engine. In in scale, not not an IRL four feet long. That's still a little too sharp of a corner. Let's go ahead and fix that. Eighty five meters. Uh, eighty six meters, why not? Oh okay, there we go. Now we're now we're talking. I think we're gonna need a bridge here for a moment. My local scenic railway has rail bike tours. I've I've ridden on one of those before. It was out in eastern Oregon. On a part of a railroad that had a bridge washout and was no longer connected. You know what we need? Rail roller skates. <laughs> that sounds like something straight out of the new um, Thomas the Tank Engine reboot. I'm not gonna lie. Only four feet eight inches apart. I could probably stand like that. Yeah, do the splits. Yeah. 
EBT out of 262 on its roster for some 35 years till they scrapped it. In. Oh, they scrapped it? No, man. Actually, it does make me wonder. Did the SR and RL scrap their, uh, their 262 outside frame engine? Is that still around? Number 11, I think it was. I know this two foot gauge, not three foot gauge, but still, I'm curious, man. <laughs> Just did roughly that in my room for like four seconds and my legs hurt. <laughs> yeah, what did you expect, buddy? It ain't easy. And you're gonna die. I think we're actually getting pretty close to reaching... Oh, way, wait, 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 wait. Well, first of all, I have forgotten to add any telegraph offices down here. So uh, let's go ahead and quickly fix that and kill my flying speed immediately. Let's go ahead and cheat and give me sprint speed instead. It's snowing outside for you. Dude, bro, it's March. What do you mean it's snowing? How is it snowing outside? We're supposed to get several inches. Oh, well. Currently having a debate with a friend about whether or not it would be possible to summon NYC 5344 under English mytho mythological summoning rules. It's been snowing on and off for days. Somebody better warn the RGS. Look out, we don't want another one of those, uh, I don't remember what the year was. Where there was that series of crashes constantly. I'm back. I just finished making a presentation about why my sister should put bears as another race of people in her webcomic about cats. Webcomic? Did somebody say new hyperfixation? <laughs> it's kind of cool that your sister's doing a webcomic, though. It's nifty. Did I just hear Stir say, oh, whoa, did you? Or did your ears deceive you? I'm not going to clarify because it's funnier that way. Stirs as oh fairly frequently. <laughs> I do it just to to make people concerned for my mental state because why not? I have a friend who always swore they weren't a furry, but oh my god, the amount of times they would say oh whoa, oh, ironically in passing. <laughs> Bro, are you sure you're not a furry? <laughs> I 
I feel like I've been tainted by them over years of having to endure. Olo is also a weeb th Wait, really? It's also a weeb thing? The heck? I didn't know that. This is news to me. To clarify, the bears would be used to represent Slavic or Scandinavian or Canadian people, depending on the type of bear. That's actually a kind of cool idea. I like that. Sounds fun. Did you successfully convince her, Croissant? Can't wait for tomorrow. Oh, right, they have those devlogs now. That is why I haven't been doing videos myself. My, my own sort of devlog, or not devlogs, but logs nonetheless, showcasing what the update has to show. Because, like, what's the point, you know, when there's already a video out about it? I do know there is a point to it, but I don't know. I just have lost motivation for it over time. Reminds me of the the guys who swear up and down they're not gay but keep flirting with me. <laughs> drunk thoughts are drunk words are sober thoughts, as they say. Has to consult her creative partner and will be getting back to me within two to three business days. <laughs> That's fair. Can't make a decision immediately. But she did say she would be down. Do sound quite gay. That's kind of funny that you say that because I, I kind of have <laughs> in a straight relationship right now. I'm bi. I could go either way. A flex spot, if you will, for those of you who uh, who who play competitive games. <laughs> A flex spot. Oh God, this platoon is showing through. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I screwed this up. Uh, that's supposed to be a 3% downhill. Did I remember to do that? I don't know. Maybe you guys will remember, but I don't. You see, I'm playing both sides, so I always come out on top. I know some people who would sim for me saying a line like that. I might have to I might have to jot that down and record it later and send it to a couple of friends. <laughs> you know, no, I'm I'm taking a screenshot of this and putting it putting it down in notepad. Just so I remember this later. <laughs> Somebody who said I was gay, I would only tell them that I'm half right. They're only half right because I don't like boys either. I'm ace. Ayo. Nice. I used to be, but... <clears throat> Times have changed, and so have I.
The SR and RL railroad, or I, I didn't need to say railroad. The two six twos were all scrapped. Oh, the narrow gauge railroad in the UK called the Brecon Mountain Railway is building a new one. Why? Uh, why is a UK railroad doing that? Seems a little peculiar. JHR senior quote right there. <laughs> Does remind me, I kind of want to backdate a mogul in ON30. Make it more like the Cook Mogul in game. So we've got a shorter boiler and a longer pile and whatnot. That could be a fun little project to try and tackle. I know somebody in the server did that already. Maybe I'll just need to take a page out of their book. Steal ideas from them. Yo, I just got an email and my idea was accepted. Ayo, we getting bears, boys. Let's go. Oh. Hold on. How far away are we? Oh, jeez. Wow, this... <sighs> We've spent two hours building this. I usually don't take quite as long to make tracks. And we, we don't even have, um... connection out to the mainland yet. <laughs> Some people try to convince me I sound really gay, but nobody ever seems to challenge my, hmm, how do I avoid getting stir age restrained and slash demonetized? <laughs> Specific role preferences. The mogul cult has a team in me, and I realized... <laughs> Uh, you know what, let's make a bad joke. Actually, it's quite shallow. It's not all that deep. <laughs> I feel like somebody somebody's going to misinterpret what I mean there. Don't worry, I'm not trying... <laughs> Actually, do worry about it. What do you think, y'all think of the new logo that's coming in the next update? It looks cool. I like it. It's pretty. I, I, I'm excited for it, especially because it's a medium power engine. It's not another overpowered locomotive. Also, screw the garbage truck. I know that's coming through on my microphone right now. <laughs> Found out that Brightline's celebrating Ultra Festival in Florida by having an entire train car be a DJ setup and having a makeup studio. That's neat. <laughs> oh god, that reminds me, I still need to go out and r ride Wes before it shuts down. I got a few years to do it, assuming that they are going to shut it down, but uh... I should probably get around to doing that before they actually do pull the plug on the, the service.
Something people often forget is that Portland actually does have uh, commuter trains. The greater Portland area does, at the very least. Obviously, everybody knows about the Cascades. Everybody knows about Max. Everybody knows about the streetcars. But I feel like Wes is sort of a forgotten oddity of the, the Portland transportation network. I keep hitting the microphone. Ah! The Reckon Mountain Railway is they got a few American steam locomotives, and they're also building Sandy River and Wrangley River Lakes 2-4. Ooh, they're making fornies. Hell yeah. How many people know about the South Lake Union trolley? I feel like everybody on this stream knows about the South Lake Union trolley at this point. Hello, Katie. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Wes. Not many people know about you. That's a good thing on the internet. Is this reaching the ground or oh we have slight float. Yeah, we'll have to fix that later. Forty four point four. Oh no, we need we still need to keep going out at a very slight angle, then once we re I guess We'll have to replace this whole track, because that's two splines too, or one spline too many. Um... Uh, we can make this portion into a little bridge. Fourteen meters. Let's go ahead and delete both of those. People writing me on the West Coast seems like a thing I should know about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god, I have no response to that, that's just too good. Oh, well, terrible, but also funny. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Spin it around. What happened to the chat while I was gone? To heck, don't worry about it. <laughs> we have had a lot of conversations today. We have been very productive. Wall's been kind of botched together. Then we will want a small wooden bridge, which we will have over 50 meters to the left and down at 3%. We'll go ahead and make this 47.5 meters. 
bada bing bada boom that's pr oh god that's too long isn't it uh, yeah mm. you know what maybe instead of trying to hug the wall we just need to have a large bridge over here that connects like all the way over to this point it's gonna have to be a pretty big bridge to achieve such a thing, but... As you know, the last steam-powered paddle-wheeled tugboat was built in 1947, and place it was built at was in your hometown of Portland, Oregon, to work from and worked from 1948 to 1981. Dang, and is now a museum ship. That's cool. In Portland, oh, I, what is it owned by like OMSI or something? That's cool. Got done reading Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream in my English class, and my favorite thing is that there's a human who plays a wall and has more lines as a wall than as himself. Lamau. That's great. Unfortunately, it's probably going to fly over most of the audience, but to those of us who actually read what Shakespeare has made... God, it's been years since I've actually read Shakespeare, though. I had a class for it back in high school, but that would have been 2015, 20, or late 2015, early 2016, roughly. Okay, that's that's too too long. Let's go for thirty four meters. There's a thirty four meters at two hundred and ninety, negative two ninety. That'll do. Oh, that's, that's flattening out. I forgot to make sure it's a downhill. Let's do that again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-four meters. Ah, uh, yes, Portland, the land of ports. I mean, we do have a lot of ports here. And we're doing a lot better than our competitor, Vanport. <laughs> I know that's a low bar to clear, but... Tugboat name is Portland and is now owned by the Oregon Maritime Museum and is at Government Tom McCall Waterfront Park in Portland, Oregon. I think I've actually seen it before. <laughs> I was drinking during high school before you were born. Don't get old. 
Don't worry, I already feel old. I know I'm not. I know I'm not old, but I already feel <laughs> like the oldest person around. Ah, the wonders of perspective. But I guess I am the oldest that I've ever been. Technically. Can't believe the Nintendo Switch's era is coming to an end. The Switch still feels new. I hope the next Nintendo system tops it. I keep hearing these rumors, but I, like, bro, I haven't actually seen any substantial evidence that the Switch's lifespan is coming to an end. I know it's definitely been long, and it feels like it hasn't been, but... I don't know, I feel like a lot... <laughs> Most of the articles saying that there's going to be a new a new switch incoming. Uh, I, I don't know. They just feel like clickbait. Every day I beat my record for number of consecutive days that I have survived on this earth. That's how I'm bettering myself as a person. <laughs> it's my New Year's resolution, live longer than I ever have before. Cutting it too close to the wall. So let's go ahead and make this bridge not quite as long. <laughs> I see people half my age saying shit like, kids today will never know the struggle. I guess it's just because the world has moved so fast technologically. Like, back when my father got a smartphone, you know. Actually, he had, doesn't even have a smartphone at this point. Um, back when I was old enough for my parents to be willing to let me have a phone, smartphones were the thing. And so getting a flip phone was extremely outdated. A little too fast at times, very much too fast at times. I don't need planned obsolescence to force me to buy the Apple iPhone 79s Part 4 in two years' time, please. I would like to keep my working, functioning electronics. Meaning of life equals R minus 8 is less than or equal to f negative 4, or r plus 11 is greater than or equal to 19. Math. Oh, 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 oh. Back to the game for a little bit. My buddy still has an iPhone 10, but it doesn't do anything but phone calls now because he refuses to update it. Uh... No phone data. No texts. 
just calls. Fun. Exhilarating. So you... <laughs> I mean, then again, to think that back... When I was born, phones outside of the household were not exactly the most common thing. Still got a first gen iPad that vaguely attempts to work at times. Honestly, <laughs> I still have my first cell phone because of one reason. And that reason is because I can use it as a Wi Fi throttle for my trains. That's it. I have no other purpose to keep it around. It's actually, actually, it's right here. I can show you my first cell phone and compare it to my, my latest one. Hold on, we're going to turn on the cat cam for this. This is my first cell phone. Tiny little LG brick. Compare it to my current cell phone. It's so small. What troubles are you causing today? Oh, we're, we're causing the, uh, the deforestation of Lithuania. <laughs> Hello, Locke. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, currently, we're working on building two routes to the coal mine. Because what I'm, I'm doing here is we actually have it so that... This switch, this little junction over here, if you go up into the left, is the quick mount route to the coal mine. If you go up to the right, is the scenic route. And the scenic route is a lot... This way, we can have a giant loop of track that allows us to go around the coal mine and not have to turn around our trains at all. But it also adds in more runtime and more challenge. Careful, those old batteries are dangerous when they get old. I kept my old LG for a Wi-Fi throttle, too, but for, for a few months. But a few months ago, it started bulging. It's a fire waiting to happen. I haven't used it all that much in probably, like, eight years. I probably should be careful. Okay, maybe not. No, no, it would have been... Yeah, it would have been about eight years now, actually. Maybe ten. No, no, eight. <laughs> it is. It has been a while since I touched this thing. You t you've heard of tender engines. Now get ready for tender phones. What, are we going to have tank phones? <laughs> they just have a bottle of water strapped across the side. Something completely random about Rail Rider. I got the big Pacific up to uh, 105.6 miles an hour. Hey, nice. Uh, the fastest I've ever got a train up to was still 150 miles an hour, and that was due to that one glitch that broke the train. <laughs> I could totally see the um, the chonky Pacific going, getting up to sp that speed, though. Okay, X. Connect. We've completed the loop, boys. We've done it.
Oh, it's going backwards. I have no clue how I'm going to remove just the bridge segments. Okay, never mind, I know how I'm going to remove just the bridge segments. <laughs> Got a class 25 Montezuma to do 60 on a downhill, dang. Speed. This is making mac and cheese, don't make me hungry, man. <laughs> as soon as I read that, my stomach just growled and barked at me. <laughs> it hurts. Both my soul and my stomach. I'm making Huber 6 try mac and cheese and nobody can stop me! There's your Thomas the Tank Engine quality variant of that meme. <laughs> the fact that they connect without posts in between them. I know, the bridges, the wooden bridges. It's pain. I'd make you some, but you're on the other side of the country. Not with that attitude. Just make the country smaller, JHR. Easy solution. Or make the pot of mac and cheese bigger. Yeah, make it so big that it covers the entire state of Minnesota. Then get NASA to transport it over here. Going to the UK, ooh. Going on like a little vacation. Hear me out, the mac and cheese bolt. Just gonna launch it from the state of New York all the way to California. Wisconsin probably has better cheese than Minnesota. Well, you have to cover up the state of Minnesota because Minnesota is really close to Wisconsin. Isn't it right next to Wisconsin? I don't remember my geography class well enough. <laughs> But it's really close, and that way you can scrape all the cheese from Wisconsin without having to crush Wisconsin at the same time. Across a lake, I think. <laughs> no, that uh, that's Michigan. That's across the lake. Though Minnesota does have like ten thousand lakes.
Okay, so once we get this finished, I guess we're gonna have to run back. We're gonna have to run up and down the line, cut down all the trees we can find that are in the way, and then we're going to finally run the freight train up here. Because might as well get started on that. Feels weird. We're up, we're over halfway done with what our usual stream length is, and uh, <laughs> we're not even close. Well, I guess we're kind of close to finish with the route, but okay. And then we'll make this an S bend because the game doesn't care. Um, I guess, if anything, we need to adjust the junction. If memory, is this at half a percent or is this at one percent? It is at half a percent. Okay, good. So that means... I can get away with a clever little something or other. Make this 1% for 10 meters. Then we'll go ahead and slap on a switch. That curve's a little too sharp. Let's do that again, but with less sharp of a curve. Make it go out at 250 for 10 meters. You know, I'm gonna have to make a video just of me rambling. We'll make ASMR of uh, me track laying. Not creative enough to come up with a way to casually bring up the topic, but can you tell us? Oh yes, the free Minecraft story. I forgot about that radio. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> it's a very short little story that I told on the midweek stream on Twitch. That basically, radio was the only person who was part of. Um, <laughs> one of my friends back in high school downloaded one of the just looked up googled free minecraft no virus download or something along those lines and downloaded the first link that they could find brick their pc admittedly that's the entirety of the story but <laughs> Oh god, wait, we're on 30 meter curves? Hold on, hold on. Why are we on 30 meter curves? No, 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 no. We can't be having that anytime soon. 50 meters, no more. I didn't know you had a Twitch. Yeah, we had a Twitch. I made it pretty recently. Um, I've only really done one stream on it, and it was Splatoon. I've been slowly messing around with it for the last couple of months to see if I can actually get it to work. The only problem is uh, OBS only allows you to link one account at a time. <laughs> and so I had to either sacrifice the... Um, I either had to sacrifice YouTube or I had to use some Twitch proprietary software. Speaking of Minecraft, did you hear that Villager News is coming back? Ayo. Nice. Dude, I loved that as a kid. <laughs> I remember that April Fool's update where they had only villager sounds. I used to be able to do the perfect villager sounds. 
back in the day. I, I had a, a great villager impression. When I was even younger, I could do a, a Jason impression. I was really proud of that for some reason. <laughs> At a friend who downloaded a file called GameCrack.exe and opened it. Suffice to say, he spent the evening reinstalling Windows. <laughs> I, I actually, back in 2022, got hacked because I opened a file, a malware file, on. because I wasn't thinking straight. It's a short and fun story. Basically, it was it was just a key logger, but since I have like two factor authentication on basically everything, nothing happened. I still reset all my passwords just in case, or at least the ones that were important to me. <laughs> but uh remember, if somebody's telling you that they've got this cool video game they want you to test and play for them, uh it's probably not real. Go out of your way to, to do your research if you want to believe them, but uh, don't just blindly believe them like I did. Don't be a moron. <laughs> Same year, my old hard drive failed because of LEGO Digital Designer? <laughs> Lamau. One time, very recently, I rebuilt my computer's partition, deleting all my files in the process, thinking I was having bootloader issues. Suffice to say, my screen brightness was just on zero. <laughs> I feel like that's something I would do. Just get a bunch of emails and texts that some idiot is trying to hack you. Exactly! I actually didn't. I don't think they ever got the keys, and so they never tried to hack me. Because what happened was it signed me out of Discord. And I'm like, okay, nope. Jigs up. My, that's not how this is supposed to work. And the thing isn't functioning. And so I went out of my way, scorched earth, deleted the files. I actually kept stringing along the guy for a little bit because I had Discord on my phone and so I just started using that to be like, oh yeah, it didn't work by the way, what's up with that? And he's like, are you sure it didn't work? Can you try this? Can you try that? And he just started getting more and more frantic. It was really funny stringing the dude along. <laughs> I tried to download the sketchy shader pack a while ago, and the moment I downloaded it, my antiviruses went absolutely crazy. I don't remember if my antiviruses went crazy at all. I kind of hope that they didn't, so that I can say I didn't just blatantly ignore the warning signs. Because <laughs> it was literally just an EXE. There weren't any special files to it. Now that I think about it, I'm lucky that Train's 2006 download from my Abandonware didn't have a virus. It came with a keygen, insert spammed and joke here, but it gave me a key to use from the website itself because even the readme that came with it said it was sketchy. <laughs> oh, you are lucky, wow. I'd repeat my texture pack story from Twitch, but I doubt YouTube appreciates the same stuff you and YouTube do. 
Oh, yes. Yes. Don't worry, Radio. We've been talking about things in that sort of cursed vein earlier today. We had a lot of conversations about furries for some reason. Uh, <laughs> which I know isn't quite the same vein, but it's close. Moral of the story. Always be safe on your internet travels. Exactly. But another moral of the story is, um, remember, in order for you to be above average on IQ, that means that there has to be an average on IQ. <laughs> and if you're above, think of how many people are below. Having to deal with the computer virus for a few weeks last year. Like you get something on your computer and had to actually try and manually retrieve files or something. Sounds like a segue to a Nord VPN. <laughs> That's right, boys. We're sponsored by Surf Nord. Uh. Next up, we're going to have Hello French, the website that allows you to learn languages <laughs> while eating food at the same time, get authentic baguettes. Okay, there's literally nothing out here, I just want to double check make sure. Um... Hello, sheep. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Square shark. <laughs> it's just a blahage, but it's been converted to Minecraft. Friend just told me, happy spring break! And now I'm trying to come up with a spring brace breaking system to replace the fluid-based ones cars use. So basically, just make it so that whenever the springs pop, it bonks the car wheels out of their position. That's what you do. Uh, this track gets a little bit uncomfortably close to the edge. We'll have to test that. We'll have to drop a save before we test this route. <laughs> Raid Shadow Shadow Monster Legends Hunter PC Download free now Let's just kill that pebble, just in case. I have a sneaking suspicion that's going to murder us. Like with the, the porter pebble incident. Oh, speaking of pebbles, eh, we can leave that one in place. It's just far enough down. This is gonna be an interesting run. This is gonna be a very interesting ride to do. How much money do we have, by the way? Oh, $1,280. Oh, bro, we could totally get another freight car of some kind. Um... What car would we even grab, though? Um...
We could just get another high side gondola. Although I don't think we have the tier for it, do we? Yeah, we're still a level four. I could cheat in the levels like we did previously. I could also make it really hard to climb the hill, though. Hmm. <laughs> Big gondola! This run will be very interesting. Yes, it will be very interesting. It's going to be fascinating to run along this route once we, once we can finally get it finished. And I think one of the fun things I'm going to do is uh, is actually not switch the reversing loop ever. And so, uh, it just, it doesn't matter how we're coming up the hill, or what we're coming up the hill with, we're just going to make the run, and if we don't make it, we don't make it. Tough luck. Hey, yo, Snack, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. <laughs> A tad late. As it's, uh, 2.30pm and we're, like, two-thirds the way done with the stream. Don't worry, you haven't missed out on anything. We're gonna be doing the big run soon. We're gonna be going from the uh, from the smelter to the sawmill, all the way up to the coal mine. You started early? Uh, no, I didn't. I always start at uh, noon, my time zone, and um, well, it happened to be noon. <laughs> the big one. Spamton. G Spamton. Oh yes, Mario, have you seen Undertale Yellow at all? I feel like that's become one of my new hyperfixations. It's not really a heavy hyperfixation yet, but it's getting there. Slowly but surely. Here comes the hard part of the hill. The long stretch. Oh, 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 oh. Thank goodness we did this check because I wouldn't have, um. I would not have remembered to delete this stuff. Is that everything? I think that's everything. You want to talk about our lord and savior, Undertale Yellow. I unfortunately have been spoiled on a lot of things, mainly from the gen over right? Yeah, I've been spoiled basically on most everything for the game. But it looks cool, I don't care, I want to play it anyways. <laughs> Boy howdy, I sure do love Sinas P Undertale! The P stands for Papyrus? Oh, I thought it stood for uh, Platypus. Perry the Platypus? Actually, I don't think Sans appears in Undertale Yellow. Fun fact. He's dead. SP, the snatty, snazzy platypus line. <laughs> Supermarkets that had their entire online presence replaced by haha, you've been hacked. I haven't heard this story. 
That sounds fun. I wish I I heard this one it was going on. Hello, Micah. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. And then there's Chunky. He's dead. I don't know why. I got that recommended in my, my YouTube earlier this morning. On my homepage. It's not like I've been watching coconut gun memes recently or anything, but... Sometimes it just sends you the strangest stuff and expects you to uh, to want to watch it. <laughs> CG coconut gun. <laughs> Because some boomers in the office open some files in an email and then boom, how? <laughs> so some people in, in a high up position did not know the basics of internet safety. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello, Smokey. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. It's going alright. Currently, we're just cutting down some trees and finishing off this route to the coal mine. Later today, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of Splatoon. Not on, maybe on stream. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Um, <laughs> go, gotta pop on back over to Twitch, <laughs> and hopefully we'll have an O130 video next week. I finished an engine yesterday. Admittedly, the engine was visually complete for like months. I just never bothered fixing the electronic issues, but we got it done. We have another Willamette and Port Carini engine. See the new update? That 10 wheeler looks nice. Yeah, I've seen the new new stuff that they're throwing into the game. It looks pretty cool. Right now, admittedly, my, my opinion on things fluctuates very, very strongly over time. Um... Right now, I think the roundhouse is probably the most exciting feature to me. I like the engine. The couplers also seem kind of cool if we're actually getting knuckles, which we probably are based off of the images. Or we'll be getting it in like a, a soon after update. I don't know. <laughs> I know a lot of people who will be happy to see the knuckles. Seems like procrastination.png. Oh, it totally was. Except it was also, I need my father's help for this.png because there was some soldering involved and it, I'm not quite ready to solder certain things together because we had to get a replacement headlight and, and speakers and whatnot. Hopefully, the new update fixes the controller bug. What controller bug? Oh, wait. Right, there's some way that you can control the trains with the controller. I know Rarison Line Extended it has been discontinued or whatever, so that's not that, though. What type of coal was mined in Oregon? Just asking. I don't know. I just know that some coal was mined in Oregon. <laughs> that is the extent of my knowledge. What kind of coal mines were here? Black. <laughs> now we got them purple coal. You know the kinds that you see on the uh, on the TV shows. <laughs> In theory, we won't have to do anything but shove up a cart of, cut of cars and go. Yeah. Unless they had air brakes, in which case that's gonna be a uh, bit of a longer story. <laughs> what kind of coal is it? Flammable. <laughs> Everything is flammable if you try hard enough. Ah. 
All right, we've made it around one loop. So I think I'm going to now turn around, set the time to early daylight, and we're going to run the whole route backwards and just make sure that there's nothing in the way. On the topic of rando YouTube recommendations, I got I have a recommendation for Aaron May, Still Humble, official music video. Don't know who that is. Maybe it's like a, a paid advertisement? I know that sometimes that, that uh, musicians will, will post a video to YouTube and then pay to get it promoted. But not like it, not like an advertisement, but like as a normal video. All you need is chlorine trifluoride. Seriously, the fact that that stuff can burn ashes. <laughs> All I know. Thank you. Thank you for the inspiration. Uh, I will now be making a new YouTube video in the coming weeks. Uh, I committed arson. Please help. Don't do a Cody's lab, you don't need the FBI. To, oh, don't worry, the FBI will be here soon after all the, the comments we've made about orphans this stream. <laughs> Hypothetically, if I were to find a way to make a flame that needs no oxygen, what would happen if I dropped it into Jupiter? Well, there's only one way to find out, Snick. I'd probably just get extinguished, honestly. I feel like the pressure would just blow it out. What are these streams we need to band together and reenact steamed hams? Uh, we'll we'll start a new Minecraft server and have somebody actually go out of their way to recreate the entirety of steamed hams frame by frame on maps. <laughs> oh god, there's a lot of trees under the bridge. Okay, hold on. We're going to take the long route. We are kind of required to. But do we take it on the first route or first round of the trip or on the second run? Before or after we reach the coal mine? Lover Radio is the only one who's responded to the question. <laughs> Second.
Is the bug where you can turn a locomotive into a 737 been patched? Uh, depends on which bug you're talking about, Snack. There's probably like 17 of them. I'm willing to bet a few have been patched, but probably not all. <laughs> Third. I think we've done it. I think we've got the whole route deforested. Watch me derail anyways. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time to run a train. Just attempted to play some railroads in line, and remember why I quit playing the other night. 40 car beam train? Well, there's your problem. Three 280s and still stalled out. <laughs> that takes skill. Okay, regulator is still on. Let's, let's just go ahead and change that. Bam. Been a while since I've seen anyone using the Coke Mogul. It got buffed, and so it's like actually kind of decent now. It can run at 25 miles an hour. Um, of course, you know, the regulator stuff is kind of confusing, but it can go 25. And, of course, it, it just looks excellent. A life sucks. Three hours ago, it looks like an average spring day. Now, it looks like a winter wonderland. Took a 300 car of train to the coal mine with like four 280s back on you on real four. Well, mind you, radio, didn't we establish the other day that you, um, you like to play on standard, just medium, medium industries and, and whatnot? Industries and, and, uh, physics? Realistic, yeah. <laughs> 4280s would not be able to handle a 100 car train. Oh, I forgot to fill up the tender, or not the tender, fill up the engine with coal. Oops. I just lay at 1.5% or low. Wait, then who was it who, who specifically said that they, they just do the default industry stuff? Also, even on a 1.5% or lower, I feel like I wouldn't be able to achieve anything like that. What are we hauling today? Uh, we're going to be hauling ourselves some... Uh, hold, the, hold on. Uh, we are going to be hauling rails, beams, and coal today. That's what we're going to be up to. We'll probably also haul some empty cordwood cars back. Though, with the steel Pegasus rules, I can't actually haul all the cars we have. <laughs> yeah, but also you're not a masochist. Oh, you're, you're very wrong about that radio. Don't worry, I am. It just depends on the day. <laughs> oh, I forgot. We need to build a quick track over here. Because we need some way to load our cars. I 
Heck, before the spline update, the Porter ha also had like 10 times this actual tractive effort for a very long time. Wasn't it only like 6,000 pounds of tractive effort? Something like that? Not quite 10 times if the, the new number is accurate. Also, actually, question, is the new number accurate? Is the new Porter tractive effort the actual number that it would have had in real life? Or that it had, I guess? Uh, this curve is going to have to be sharper than 50 meters. In fact, it's probably going to have to go down to 30 meters. More or less. Okay. That's good to know. I now know how, how many cars, if I ever run a porter on my own 30 layout, how many cars I will allow it to run. Just in case, drop a save. Surprisingly nice outside here, so I'm going to head out on the second bike ride for today. May or may not be back before the stream ends, we'll see. Considering how long your bike ride was last time, TK, you'll probably be back. <laughs> Only huge issues are the Mason, Bogey, and the Shea. Mason ran at 150 PSI and made quite a bit more power than in-game, and the Shea is heavier, slower, and weaker than the Loco that it's actually based upon. So you're telling me that the chase... <laughs> Considering how dinky that engine already is, 6,000 pounds of tractive effort didn't feel too out of place. Are you telling me it's stronger? How much stronger would it have been? I, I may or may not need to know for ON30 purposes again. Oh, come on! I was... I... Mm, why did I not... Why was I not able to link that? That's stupid. I... I, I disagree with that statement, the game. <laughs> Don't forget to delete the extra... Oh, right! Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the reminder. I'll do that in a second. Okay, you know what? That'll just have to do. No. Oh, come on! That was linked two seconds ago. Why are you like this game? Why must you be uh, like this? <laughs> Leave minimum 7 to 9k pounds of tractive effort depending on the railroad that purchased the model. Since some had the same loco but with marginally different gearings, but was the same class technically. So I'd have to check for the exact railroad. <clears throat> I would say this is based off of Mishkal number 1, but it's or 2. It's not quite Mishkal number two. It doesn't have the weird headlight. I want the jank headlight game. Can't be on top of the cars. Gotta be on the side when coupling. I know, it's just annoying to me. I... 
<laughs> I, wa I want to be on front. Just let me be on front, game. Hello, Colorado. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Aren't there Shays in Japan? I'm just curious how they got there. Well, yeah, the, the U.S. exported locomotives and trains. I wouldn't be surprised to hear that there was a Shay in Japan. How's the day going? It's going well so far. It's going good. We built the route to the coal mine and we're about to run it for the first time. I'm also a little intrigued because, uh... <laughs> Obviously Splatfest is tonight, but also I'm, I'm kind of excited because we finally finished a locomotive last night and I'm going to be recording that today and hopefully next week we will have a video on a new locomotive for the Willamette and Pork Yard. Well, new with quotation marks. It's actually been around for a while, but new for you guys. <laughs> Shane game should be about 7.8k pounds of tractive effort and a top speed of 10, I believe. So slightly faster, slightly stronger, and slightly less heavy. Top speed of 10 would be the difference between a sports car and a slug. A snail. Anyone who plays Rarider and Rarids Online, do you feel like the tonnage and grade math doesn't jive? I haven't really checked the grade math for Rarids Online very often. You know, I, I just sort of <laughs> go with the flow, I guess, on both games. So, no comment from moi. First 282 was ordered by railroad in Japan in 1897. Wasn't that why they were called Mikados? Or were Mikados the replacement name? It was some, something related to Japan, I think, if I remember correctly, if I recall.
All right, it's rails time, baby. Something about a Japanese movie called Mikado. Okay. I all I remember is that uh, during World War II they tried to come up with a different name for it, but failed and didn't do it. They were named Mikado after the famous Gilbert and Sullivan musical about Japan by the same name. And yes, the first 282s were ordered by a Japanese railroad, which is how, why they got that specific name. MacArthur, McAdoo. The replacements just didn't work, and they eventually went back to Mike's. Good old-fashioned Mike's. Try and line up that back flat, this crane. We have 16 rails. Don't really realize how mentally degrading a zombie apocalypse would be even to a strong-minded individual. Yeah, well, yeah, of course not. That's not something you think about very often, I'd hope. <laughs> Chain game would maybe be 16 to 17 tons max. I forgot what it is in game, but it, it, I think it's a lot heavier. I don't know what uh, how to convert pounds to tons, but it's 48,000 pounds. I assume, considering considering the imperial system, it's not a nice 10 to 1 ratio or 1,000 to 1 ratio or something like that. It's some crazy number. <laughs> but if it is a 10 to 1 or whatever ratio... 48,000 pounds? 48,000... 48 tons? That's 24 tons. Okay, so it's about 2,000... Or a 2 to 1. 2,000 to 1 ratio. 2,000 pounds, 1 ton. Yep, yep. Roger that. All right, it's time to haul ass, and I'm all out of ass. Okay, no derailments yet. I probably should have put the rails closer to the front of the train, because train weight and streamlining, but whatever. <laughs> We've totally haven't streamlined 17 different times while running this route. Right, guys? Right?
Can't wait for Montezuma realist at top speed. <laughs> Let's have the Montezuma go 60 miles an hour. Make it absurd. Make it not realistic. Just for fun. <laughs> Actually, God. If the Eureka's tender almost derailed at 60 miles an hour, I can only assume the Montezuma would do the same. Should just make it even funnier. Montezuma would take flight. Montezuma could max out at like 45. That sounds... I mean, it's got a four-wheel tender. That sounds like pain to ride on, honestly. Oh, I should be taking pictures. In the UK, they did four six-wheel tenders doing 80. Well, yeah, but that's not narrow gauge. That's standard gauge, isn't it? Junction again. God, this junction is so jank in the best way possible. <laughs> Hello, Trip. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Need a 4 2 just for the heck of it. <laughs> You know that one, there's that one porter that people keep making where they take the HO scale, um, 420, and then they convert it into a saddle tank with tender. It's so stupid, I love it. Spawnyard. I didn't buy anything. <sighs> I'm wondering if I should get another freight car just for fun. And uh, maybe to, of course, start expanding down more parts of the line. What would I even get? A water tank car? Oh, that reminds me. Does anybody even remember where the water well? Oh, the water well goes to the cattle farm. I guess I don't really need that yet. I should save up and try and get a boxcar in the future. Wait, there were two, four, six Mason bogies. That's funny. That's cool. As it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, just amusing to me. Cat 
cattle and wheat. Wait, there's also water at the wheat farm? There's also water at the wheat farm. Then I guess I could probably focus on that. Ah, uh, but I'd still need the boxcar for the seed pallets. Have you ever heard of Races to the North? They were trying to run the fastest passenger trains to Edinburgh, Scotland, from London, England, both in the 1890s and as well as in the 1920s. Yeah, I think we brought this up on stream a couple of streams back. I vaguely recall that. Ice cream after mac and cheese and Marge Voss snowing has a vibe to it. JHR, I fear for your sanity. Wheat needs water to grow after all? Yeah, but the wheat farm is like two feet away from the this lake. Why, why would you need the railroad to deliver water to the wheat? The good minerals. Yeah, we're getting. We're bringing them. What's that one company that's got the really bad water? <laughs> that lake has lead poisoning. Look, man, it's the 1800s. We don't know what lead poisoning is. Dasani. <laughs> Exactly, we're bringing it to Sony, it needs the Sony. We need to make the cows as miserable as is humanly possible before we kill them. We're, because everybody here is a sadist, right? Right? Well, the events are like the residents of Munich have completely run out of cacti. Help deliver the plant. It's too bad that Dasani is my favorite water. I I don't drink bottled water. I just drink tap water. Honestly, it's pretty good around here. Lead poisoning was known all the way back in ancient times, if I recall correctly. I mean, Radium, don't you remember that one postcard of, I hope the lead I've mined makes it into your paint, or whatever? And it's just this guy with a mustache and he's smiling brightly, this miner. <laughs> One of steam locomotives used in the 1890s was saved from scrap, was put into a museum, and the locomotive was Hardwick, a 240 steam locomotive, and it was running at 90 miles per hour. Damn. For even my 3 foot gauge camelback 080. Radio, get the 3 foot gauge camelback 040. Come on now, get that little dinky porter with the tender. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> That's just a camel. It's different. <laughs> Lunar Ridge revamp does not work. Are you sure you followed the installation instructions correctly? I've been getting that comment a lot. Should be a save file in there. Just use a save file. Unzip the file and get the save. Drag that in. Not the zip. Do people, do people really not understand what zip files are? <laughs> I feel like I've gotten this comment like three to four times in the last month. Oh, hold on. I want to pull in town facing right. And we can check whether or not we need water now. We're at the wheat farm. We, we can settle the debate. I downloaded and it says RAR instead of save. A RAR is a, just a compilation of files. It's like a zip file. Unzip it. The save is in there. I guess that's my bad. It should have made it a zip because people know zips better, but it, it, it's just... It's basically the same as a zip file for all intents and purposes of what we're doing here. Extract the files. How much, how many beams do we have? 39, and it's beams that we need at the coal mine, correct? Water, water, water. If there's gonna be any place with water, it's right here. Yes, there is water that we need to deliver. Okay, that's good to know. I like to joke with people who know about the Hawaii stuff that the Oahu water car was also used to transport whiskey or brandy when it wasn't full of pesticides or water. <laughs> so maybe the Oahu car just delivers pesticide-infused whiskey to the farms. Bring her to a halt, and let's load up on beams. God, I forgot how fast it loads up on beams now. <laughs> Actual speed? What is this? Alright, I asked this question in chat a while back, and I only got a response from two people, one of which was a joke response. Uh, should we go on the big route to the coal mine before or after we actually make it to the coal mine? 
Because we've got the short route and we've got the long route. What should we do? Should we load on coal first before going over the big route? Or should we load on coal after going over the big route? Before I want us to struggle. It's not going to be a struggle. We're fine. What are you talking about? Before, 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 before. <laughs> after. <laughs> The second time, the tooth, if you will. All right, we'll do, we'll do we'll do the heavy grade first, then. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. It's only a three percent. What could go wrong? A uh, cut away to me dying on the hill. It's gonna get clipped into a short later. It's gonna get clipped and <laughs> it'll it'll cut suddenly to me dying on the hill and suffering and struggling. <laughs> calling it now. Actually I hope I'm not calling it now. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am factually incorrect with that statement. This is the hill you're gonna die on. Yes! Yes, it is! <laughs> you know, I vaguely remember seeing a TF2 meme where it's the bit from Meet the Medic and Heavy says, Doctor, are you sure this will work? And the Medic says, Ah, ha, ha, no. And then he teleports onto a moped? <laughs> what? Are you sure this isn't something that you had in a dream? while on, on drugs or something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start applying more reverses soon. Because I guess this is going to test us. If we can't make it up this hill, we know we physically can't make it up the main hill. But if we can, we'll be fine. Ha <laughs> ha. 
this will be an utter disaster. But I'm dish. Oh, we seem to be doing fine. We'll be, f we'll make it. We'll be okay. Huzzah! I am back before the stream ends. Hello, TK. We're about to we're about to do the coal haul. We're about to climb the mountain with uh with all these cars in tow. Okay, new question, chat. Should I buy another gondola for us to carry coal in? <laughs> should we should we get all the coal? Actually, hold on. Would we even have enough to fill two gondolas? It's two beams to one rail, right? It's not one beam to two, or, yeah, one beam to two rails. That's the production ratio. Uh, cause... We wouldn't even have enough to fill the second gondola if it's two beams to one rail. So, um... Maybe it wouldn't be worth it. Maybe my OCD would murder me. Strangle me in my sleep. <laughs> Make running more efficient? Maybe. It would. It's definitely something I plan on purchasing. I just don't know if I should do it right now. Two beam, one rail, ten coal. And if this thing holds twenty two coal, we're gonna be getting one, two, thirty. We're only begin gonna be getting forty units of coal. We won't be able to fill both of them fully. We could fill both of them 20 a piece, but we, we wouldn't be able to fill both of them fully. Where am I even going to deliver this coal, actually? Hold on. The dredge, maybe? Meat packing plant, maybe both, just because. Could deliver half and half. Could do one to um the dredge, one to the meat packing plant, build out that route a little bit. More gondolas me equals more ore, more ore equals more profit, more profit profit equals more choose. Simple math. That is true. That is true. Bl buy more flat cars? I could. We have to go back all the way to the sawmill to actually make, get any use out of them, though. Dredge does give gold. Dredge does give gold. I could also start heading for the... Oh, wait, no. I'd have to go over the stamp mill to get to the ironworks. But then again, the stamp mill would be after the dredge, so... All right. Bring her to a stop. 
and brake on. Oh, let's buy a car. Um, I guess the only downside of buying the the extra gondola is I do have to cheat because I'm not a tier seven yet or whatever. I don't actually have the currency to buy the gondola. Just a small problem. What other cars could I get? I'm a tier 4. I could get the water car, as we were saying. But the box car would probably be better to grab overall. <laughs> if I'm gonna cheat, why wouldn't I just get a box car, actually? Because of the box car, I could take seed pallets and grain and shuttle them between the um, freight depot. Hmm. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm gonna be a coward and I'm gonna buy one of. The, I'm gonna buy a box car instead. Um, let's go ahead and add sixty-nine hundred thousand EXP. Now let's go ahead <laughs> buy the box car. Go go completely against chat. The way I do it is like every industry needing coal gets a DNRGW gondola. Another crew takes them up in a separate train and fills them all, and then they all get taken back to the freight depot to get arranged for their stuff. That's kind of smart. Oh wait, I freight depot exists. I can just bring it there! That way I don't have to build the tracks to a new industry for no reason. We're back at level 4. Bam. We can just sell the coal and do the kind of cheap and boring thing for a little bit. So I guess I am playing by the Steel Pegasus rules. I would have to. <laughs> I would have to uh, bring a couple of extra cars to the freight depot to unload. But still, that's that's a solution. That's a way to make it work. There's the answer that we were looking for. Oh, this is like a perfect photo opportunity. boys. It is time for us to prepare for the hill. You think you could get a Mason Bogey for your next logo? Uh, honestly, I don't know if I'm ever going to buy another locomotive. I could go for a Bogey. I do like the looks of those engines. They're very pretty. But I might honestly go for the new engine. The, the 282, just cuz. Like, I know I'll be breaking some of the rules I've set for myself in a way, but... 
I thought like experimenting with the new train. Come on now. I might also just get another uh, mogul. For all I know. We'll see. We'll see. Buy a porter too, a bogey, a fairies, and a mic. That way only locos with trailing trucks would be on your railroad. <laughs> I guess a 282 with a maximum of 8 cars in tow. Definitely not overkill in any way, shape, or form. Honestly, TK, I'm thinking I might rearrange the rule set for Steel Pegasus. There's a rule that I've come up with for, um... For operating 0 and 30 trains, which is the l the amount of cars that you can pull on your train is equal to your tractive effort divided by 2,000, rounded to the nearest whole number. And um, what's what's the uh, brain words? <laughs> okay, sorry, no, it's. Take the tractive effort, round it to the nearest thousand, divide by two thousand, round up, and then add two. Whatever number you get is the amount of cars that you can haul in your train, and that includes the caboose. So for what, the K-27, let me do the math for that reason, quickly. K-27 would be able to haul a 15-car freight train. To be fair, that's how the DNRGW usually operated. 1, 2, 8, 2, 8 to 10 cars. Granted, they had 3 to 5% grades. Granted, we also have 3% grades on the railroad. I like how Stir is playing a nice and relaxing train game. Meanwhile, I'm robbing trains in Red Dead 2. <laughs> New rule for Steel Pegasus, you can't have a fire with the loco moving. God, that would be so painful. Don't worry, though. I already play by that rule. Everybody hates me for it. Could the cook wood burner with the build in built-in snowplow? Then honestly, that could be fun. It would look a little bit strange next to the the coal burner. It'd be a little strange having coal and wood burners side by side. But but again, who cares? We're just here to run trains and have fun. That would have been a cooler screenshot if I actually took it at the right time. <laughs> we can take a cooler screenshot from this vantage point. Okay, well not if the train's derailing, we can't. Um, how fast are we going? It's only going 18 miles an hour. What do you mean those ca those cars jumped the tracks? Hello? How about the upcoming Class 47? I could do that. I could see that happening. Because I like the Class 47. I like the way that thing looks. I 
I'm game to try it out on this line. So uh, waiting for the day we get bogey mounted caboose cabis and derrards online. Trucks trucks, baby. That'll be a nice day. Even if all it is is like a twenty foot bobber caboose. Just something with, with more than four wheels. Strongest three foot loco in the world was the 280 plus 082 Kitson Meyer, which was just shy of 60,000 pounds of tractive effort, but people say that doesn't count because it's not from the Rio Grande. And yet they still talk about the Uinta. <laughs> Gotta go, may not be back before the stream is over. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be ending it once we get to the freight depot, so. Take care, Radium. Take care. See you around, man. Alright, Lincoln. In Lincoln Park. Train, break off, break off. We only had two handbrakes on, we only had two handbrakes on. Let's roll! <laughs> let's let's do this every <laughs> Let us begin the climb. The climb of pain. The climb of suffering. The climb of probably not actually pain or suffering, but I'm going to say that it is because it's a long route. watch a new video of the porter that thing is sick <laughs> i like making that engine i'm not on it honestly i'm kind of not sure if i'll keep it around though i need more funds to fund the train addiction and the the sloppy handwriting is questionable <laughs> but i had a lot of fun doing that quick little job because all it was was basically swapping out some parts and building a cab it was nice it was quick and it turned out good And I'm probably going to have to record next week's video in the same style as I did for the border. <laughs> because I don't have the footage of me painting the original engine. Hooray! Can you give a hint on what the engine is? Uh, it is a mogul. <laughs> uh, it's a white uh, Willamette and Port Carney mogul. Number 22. 
She's been sitting on the back burner for quite some time, uh, mostly because we just didn't fin fix the electrical issues. She had a, um... God, the weirdest thing happened last night. We fixed the speakers, because the speakers were not wired in. They were taped in place. Or, or the wires were taped onto the speaker. And we, so we had to solder them in place. <laughs> and so we fixed that. And then one of the cables got ripped out of the decoder. So we fixed that. We soldered the cable back in. And then, for no reason whatsoever, after we fixed the second issue, after we made a mistake while painting the engine a little bit, just adding on some minor details to the tender, the engine's sound system decided that it wanted to become an articulated. Because we changed the wiring on the locomotive. We fixed it. We got it figured out. We, we found a workaround that really shouldn't have worked, but it worked. But, like, what happened? Why an articulated? <laughs> what did we do wrong? Why the wiring? Did it break in half or double chuff? It double chuffed. And one, the funny thing about it is that once we fixed the problem with the double chuffing, it, uh, at first we actually created a new problem because the decoder started doing twice as many idling sounds for some reason. So something was doubling up, and it was completely broken. <laughs> we fixed it though, we got we got it figured out. You have a four-cylinder mogul. I, I would do that, that would be fun, but uh, I, I... No. <laughs> I saw that tree in the tracks. I saw it for a split second. Right before we hit it. Of course, there was a tree sitting in this random spline that was not cut because of how deep down it was. Uh, uh, what make of decoder? It was a Soundtracks stock decoder, but it wasn't for the Mogul? Like, the DCC was a stock decoder for the Mogul, but the sound system was actually for a completely different engine for some reason? I don't know what engine it was, though. <laughs> it's not even a tree, that's a twig! Exactly! How did... It how did something this small derail my train? Wouldn't the train just completely demolish that and continue going like nothing ever happened? What do you expect this QMA? I mean, to be fair, it is just how the game works, but like, I just wish the hitbox was smaller because that, that was, that wasn't fair. <laughs> All things considered. All right. Handbrake. Off. Handbrake off. And last, but certainly least, Handbrake off. Let's do that again. Alright, it back.
All right, begin the hill. I've been playing Pacific Drive for a while, and I wish there was a train equivalent of that game, like a Western survival game where you turn a 460 into an armored train. Um. I know of a couple of different games that are train survival stuff, where you build an armored train over time. There's like The Last Stop, I don't remember what the name of the game is, but it's like some zombie apocalypse train based game, and it's got this kind of silly looking train on it with a skull on the front. But you just, you drive a train from station to station. Void Train, yes, exactly. Not Western, but Void Train exists. And then there's, I, I don't know of any that are Western-themed, but I know about, uh, there's another one, Long Way Home or something like that, where you have a bunch of soldiers all aboard a train and you're trying to make it back through, after winning a war, you're trying to make it back through hostile territory or something like that. That's a pretty good picture. It's kind of taken at an awkward moment, but it was pretty cool. Last Train Home is what it's called. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I think. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> Trans-Siberian Railroad Simulator is also a survival train game. That is the smallest bridge photo I've ever taken, but it works. We've almost made it to the top of the hill, boys. After all this time. We, we finally ascended. Here's another good screenshot opportunity. Uh, I meant to cut the regulator, not the reverser. Oops! Wrong, wrong lever to flick backwards. <laughs> WRONG LEVER! <laughs> Pull the lever crunk. <laughs> oh my god, everybody's sharing a brain cell today, apparently. <laughs> WRONG LEVER!
<laughs> Why do we even have that number? <laughs> <laughs> the IRS. Oh man, all I can think of is that one VeggieTales meme, like, Who are you? I'm from the IRS! And then Larry just slams the door in the guy's face. I've never watched VeggieTales in my life. Have you not seen any memes from VeggieTales? Even? Because if so, that's impressive. I remember I watched it back when I was young because of my church. I don't remember much of it, though, honestly. It was funny, though. I liked it when I was a kid. Are you kidding me? Well, the good news is we know the 1800 space program is still effective. The bad news is... Rock. Rock hitbox, really stupid. Well, the good news is we made it over the hill. Um, <laughs> we we managed to climb the mountain with ease. The bad so I, I guess my prediction from earlier did not come true. The bad news is literally everything else that is happening here today. <laughs> I feel like VeggieTales could be the basis for some type of analog horror, dude. It... <laughs> Remember how I, how I joked around about the idea of having a community fan fiction for something? Where we all just band together and write a really bad story? There's what we're going to write about VeggieTales. VeggieTales analog horror. Speaking of rock stupid, I heard a story of a lady from Florida who tried to kill her husband by putting a bunch of negative energy crystals under his bed. Big brain. God. You know, I don't... If she tried to do that, doesn't she realize that if it actually worked, the police would be very easily able to figure out who did it <laughs> based on the few people who would actually believe such a thing. <laughs> Three more cars. <laughs> I 
Some rocks do really have vibes. Unfortunately, that vibe is radiation. <laughs> Not the craziest Florida woman story. Oh no, heavens no. Florida, Florida arrests are something special. Don't forget the lady that shot her husband in his sleep and he woke up with nothing more than a mild headache. <laughs> oh my god. That's, uh... Impressive. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is the kill them with kindness one, where a guy brought a machete that he titled Kindness. And he says, I'm gonna kill you with kindness, and then he did. Actually, I don't think he actually did it in the end. He, he got apprehended before he had the chance to actually do it, because he admitted to it. What about the woman who tried to get a reverse C-section to- What?! <laughs> to get her adult son back? My goodness, parents can be controlling, creepy, and do anything to try and get their kids back in their lives. <laughs> What the earth? She claimed she wanted to have her adult son put- WHAT?! EXCUSE ME?! Put back in her show so she could be his mother again? No? <laughs> Why? Terrible. How about the guy who tried to seal an entire power pole by tra strapping it to the top of his SUV? I mean, my father once got to steal a, um... A railroad switch stand. It was on an abandoned railroad, and well, nobody really cared. Uh, he he kind of had to drop it off eventually, though, because it was too heavy and his car kept breaking down or something like that. I don't remember what it was. All right, perfect. Beams. Ha! 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 Boys, we have achieved it. The perpetual motion machine. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so stupid. I love it. Oh, the fact that Florida has to put out PSAs every hurricane season to tell people not to shoot hurricanes because the bullets will come back. Uh, the fact that they have to do it every season. I guess it's not really much of a surprise, though. As we mentioned earlier, in order for most of us to have above-average IQ, that means there has to be people low enough, on average, that they, uh, they bring it down. You know? <laughs> It doesn't work, people still do it. Exactly. People don't want to, to do things that they're told. Everybody's oppositionally defiant. Come on now. This is canonically how Snowpiercer works. <laughs> By by using a wooden beam to launch itself back onto the uh onto the car. <laughs> I 
stonks. <clears throat> All right, it's coal time, baby. You're probably about as likely to be killed by a hurricane bullet in Florida as you are to be like a flying stop sign or whatever. You're gonna be hit in the face with a flying cow. Actually, the stop sign has more more surface area though. Wouldn't you be more likely to get hit by a stop sign than you would be a bullet? Do we need to do a mathematical proof for this? All right, we can hold 22 in the car, right? Yeah, okay. We'll just do 20. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Don't mind me doing this. I could just I could just read the number. I know. I don't need to count it all out one by one. 20, okay. It's one car loaded. And for the other car, we can just straight up load both of these at the same time. And we can start flickering. And we'll just continue doing this until we run out of coal. There we go. We have 20. And we have 20. A 20... Thousand kilos. Jesus, these cars are heavy. Fortunately, there's only two of them. How much do you guys want to bet that we're going to derail on the way down? How much you all want to figure that that's going to happen? Also, TK, your message got censored and I don't know why. Thanks, YouTube. There's a thing called a trime. What the heck is a trime? Is that a triangular dime? That's how badly the gondolas stick to the track in my experience. At least three. I, I hope it's zero. I sincerely hope it's zero. About one mil, yes, an entire tenth of a penny. 
It was the smallest coin ever produced by size, smaller than a dime. It was worth three cents. It was pretty much exclusively used by postage stamps when they were three cents. That's a kind of fascinating piece of information. When, do, when were those taken out? Are those still in circulation? Can we get one of those? <laughs> Can we get a try? Been out of circulation since the 1890s. Oh, man. Uh, I don't. S oh wait, no, never mind. I see a tender. I thought that was the rail. I got scared for a second. I was gonna say, did we derail? Did we lose our tender somehow along the line? Where'd that go? Nah, we're we're fine. We're safe. We're good. Two for sale on eBay, one for one hundred dollars and one for five thousand. Oh my goodness. I bent you one large cent. <laughs> Bet. It's the it's one penny, but it's like the size of a dime? Man, apparently I'm learning a bunch of stuff about US currency today, huh? a large cent for sale on eBay for $47,000, bro, I could buy a small house and move out to the middle of Colorado for that money, maybe Wyoming, and just live there forever and do nothing. <laughs> Newsflash, I typed this with my nose. Still, it was a U.S. coin worth four dollars. <laughs> Why four? Why not three? Oh yes, random question for chat. Uh, what president is on the back of the uh, the two dollar bill?
Also, random fun fact. Uh, for some reason, YouTube chat on my browser is not showing up at all. It's showing up in OBS, but when I pop over to my browser to do stuff, it just doesn't. It's not there. <laughs> on the front, it's Jefferson. Haha! -ha. Somebody, somebody saw through the the trick question. Damn it! There's <laughs> a coin called trade dollars in U.S. currency that were made for trade with Asian countries in the 1870s and 1880s. Why, why not just use regular dollars? Seems a bit strange to me to go out of your way and add another currency system for some reason. <laughs> Malicious laughter. <laughs> I figured out your tricks, you gnome. Right, we need to slow down a little bit. 30 mph is top speed that I'm willing to do. 31 is a little too fast. Over here, we've made it to the freight depot. For what? I don't know. Well, I, mean, I actually do know. I gotta end the stream because I gotta shower. My sister's coming over tonight. And I forgot to shower last night. Want to seem like I'm mildly prepared for visitors. It's the reason the $2 bill was essentially banned for a few decades. What, the trade dollar? The trick question about Jefferson? The $4 coin? Huh? <laughs> Which one? What thing? What do? All right, boys. Oh wait, no, this that's seed pallet in the way. I was gonna say all right, and I was gonna unload the coal. Though then again, I guess if I've got the steel Pegasus rules, I can't unload the coal right now. I'm I'm banned from doing so because I need to have four different load types. But then again, we're just here to have fun and vibe, so maybe maybe I can ignore my own rules for a little bit. Ah, but we've got the coal. We can always keep the coal for us to do something like the dredge or the meat packing plants. Uh, whatever. Thank you all for joining me today. It has been fun as always. But I think it is time for us to call it quits. I will see you all on Sunday. Cheers, folks. 